gonna turn my phone off But that's where all my friends are What do I do? Why is it so hard To find someone new so far away All the days that I used to have someone right beside me as usual, we're going to start off with our eyebrows and I am going to dry out my eyebrows first using a powder and then I'm going to go in directly with a spoolie to comb them out and make them look more neat. And then after that, we are going in with a pencil to draw the shape of the eyebrows that we want. I'm not going with my natural shape because this eye look requires that the eyeshadow is visible and therefore I've gone with like really, uh, the eyebrows are really high up. The ends of the eyebrows are really, really high up. And then I just use the mascara actually as my eyebrow wax because I don't have eyebrow wax at the moment. And then now we are just defining our eyebrows using concealer. And the concealer that I've used is the Superstay, the Maybelline Superstay Matte Concealer. And that's the shade Honey. And the same, same concealer, I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow primer. I hope you guys can follow because I'm going a bit fast. But I hope that you can, if you don't get what I'm doing, kindly rewind. Um, but I have used the I have the concealer as an eyeshadow primer and then I've just used cello tape. We are going old school this time round. So I've used cello tape like to just demarcate the wing and I've just gone in with that black eyeshadow all along the outer corner of my eyes and for the inner corner of my eyes I've used a brown eyeshadow and then I've taken another brush which is like a blending brush and I'm just using it to blend the brown with the black. For the brown I'm also going slightly up as you can see. I hope you guys can see well what I'm doing but I'm thoroughly thoroughly blending those two shades, the brown shade and the black shade that I applied all over my eye and then I'm now going in with a shimmery brown shade. I didn't show you the shimmery brown shade that I used but it was from the same Miss Rose palette and I'm just using it in the inner corner of my eye. Those are brown glitters and those glitters I'm just going to apply them like on top of my eyelid just sparsely you know not on the outer corner just in the center of the eyelid now we are going to go in with our maybelline argan oil and we are going to use it to line our waterline this is almost like a tiktok it's really really faster and then now we are going to remove the tape which we have and then we are going to go in with that foundation i've shown you which is the clinique uh, foundation that's the even better foundation and this is the shade spice i do have some discoloration or hyperpigmentation i don't know what's happening to my skin but uh this uh blends really well with my neck so i've just applied it all over my face using a damp beauty blender we are now going to put on our lashes and then now we are going to go back to the maybelline super stay matte concealer and that is the shade honey uh, so we are applying it where you're seeing the areas that I want highlighted. So I'm applying it all over that area with a beauty blender just to make sure that it is nicely, nicely blended. And then we are going to set that concealer and I'm using the black opal setting powder and that's the shade medium. So I'm just applying it in where I applied the concealer that's where I'm applying the setting powder then I've just used the NYX highlighting stick we are actually right now what we are doing is that we are contouring our nose or shaping our nose so I've just used two products the NYX highlight and contour stick but I've only used the highlight side because the contour is not my shade and for the contour I've used the makeup revolution contour powder and that's the one I've used to like create my nose and then now we are going to do blush and for blush as you can see we are using our usual Crayola lip and cheek color and that's the shade strawberry and then I've gone in again with the NYX highlighter and I've combined those two and I'm just blending them in with that small brush you're seeing I felt like the blush was very little so I added some more blush and then I'm just blending 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 make sure that we you know the key to good makeup is thorough blending and then now we are doing our lips so for lips I am just using a black pencil but first let's just spray our face and set it so I've just used a black pencil to line my lips I know people prefer brown pencils but I prefer a black one and then I'm going to use this lipstick by Maybelline it's from this their sensational range and this is the to the fullest 
so i'm just applying it all over my lips and then i'm going this is a matte lipstick so it's not going to leave a glossy finish for a glossy and after it's dried down i'm going to go in with the revlon vinyl lip polish to act as a gloss and this is like a maroon gloss so i'm just going to apply it all around my lips and then i'm going to blend that in with a brush so that's what i've done for this look although i ended up wiping the upper part of my lip because i didn't like how it looks i prefer the x and then um i'm going to go in with this black opal powder a different one this is not the setting powder that's like a foundation powder but I'm, just I'm also taking like a really really light color and applying it in the inner corner of my eyes and that's the highlighter that I'm using to apply with that brush that is the NYX high glass illuminating powder and it it glitters fell inside it so it usually doesn't have glitters but it, it produces a really nice color so just the one that you're seeing it's really gorgeous i love it and i'm um, just using the same bronzer to bronze up my face in those locations that you're seeing like up above on my cheekbones below my cheekbones and now the reveal